Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. Today we will look at one of the awards winning websites, 12dishes.com, and we'll deconstruct some of the CSS and JavaScript animations. Alrighty, let's get cooking, let's figure out some of these transitions and animations were created. The first one we will start with is the logo itself. Image of the logo is actually 29 frames, all stuck next to each other. They animating using CSS animations over the duration 1.15. So if we slow it down a little bit, if we change the duration to let's say five seconds and we play it again, we should be able to see the animation a little bit slower. Okay, so this is animating. We can see it's animating the left offset to minus 9,000 to, ah, my math, ha. 9,000, this is 2,900 percent. Okay, so we're animating the left offset and that's what's happening on a page load. There is no class added to it. Every time you refresh the page, that animation is triggered. The next thing we'll look at is the menu itself. It has a nice transition between the individual boxes. Okay, so this lets you scroll or click through all 12 dishes. Okay, so while inspecting the element, the first group or the first column of links, as you can see, there is a group wrapper, which is position absolute, top left zero and 100% width and height. And inside of it is four links. Okay, so these four individual links, to make it even better for us, I'll hide the other groups. Okay, so I'm hiding the group second and third one. If I remove overflow, overflow, the, here it is, overflow hidden, I remove it and we can see all four items inside of the first group next to each other. Okay, this overflow hidden chops it off, make sure that nothing sticks out and when we click next, it brings the previous or the next section in. This looks like it's using green sock, so let's figure out, let's see if that's really true. We'll copy the group wrapper class and we'll open the, the minified JavaScript in a new window and search for the group wrapper. Okay, so there is some JavaScript which construct the containers. There is an initial twin set which just offsets it to the right place. But if we grab these group wrappers, which are the individual group wrappers and search for that, we'll see that there is a twin light. This is where it's happening. This is the green sock twin, which moves the boxes to the right place, going left to right. Now let's have a look inside of the individual recipe. What sort of transitions are here? Everything fades in and slides from the bottom. And that is using CSS animation. Okay, container labels and image wrapper has a simple CSS transition of the all properties in 0.5 duration. Okay, so the same thing is on the image wrapper and navigation as well. So all these elements are sliding in, they're animating from opacity zero and 50 pixels offset to the final position. There you have it, couple of the CSS and JavaScript animations broken down into pieces. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you've learned something new. And if you have another website which you want me to look at in my future videos, get in touch on Twitter at IHateTomatoes or through my blog. Leave a comment under the video. What do you think about these deconstructions? If you feel like, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Happy coding, bye.